Nick, we're a few days removed from Sunday's Sky Sports Cup victory. How do you reflect on the events of Sunday? Yeah, we're just all absolutely delighted as a team uh, to get that over the line. I think it's something that we really disappointed ourselves with last season. Um, obviously, the league was the most important, but to not win any cups last year was something that we really wanted to change this season. And starting that, and obviously it being live on Sky Sports as well, and a monumental occasion for women's football in Scotland, it couldn't have went any better. And how important are these experiences in giving the team belief to go on and achieve even more this season? Yeah, it's massively important. I think, um, obviously, as I've touched on before, like the disappointment of last season and to go and do that on Sunday and the way we performed as well, it's just gave us all a confidence. You've seen us this morning. We're all kind of still on a high. Um, so, yeah, we're just delighted and it's, it's going to give us more belief going into the season because we know that it's going to be a long season as well and it's... It's going to be quite tight at the top as well, so that's something that we'll be looking to use um, going forward. And the performance on the whole was very impressive on Sunday, but the quality of the two goals just shows the, the sheer number of match winners that you do have in the squad. Yeah, I've touched on it before as well. Like, There's so many different goal scorers who can score for us. Um, it's a really competitive squad, but you see it at uh, training day in, day out, that Kirsty Howitt and Lizzie Arnott, they're always scoring um, top bins or um, great finishes in the bottom corner. So no, I'm absolutely delighted for them because it's two players who work hard um, day in day out in the training sessions so yeah we're just delighted to obviously get over the line and, and what a hit from Lizzie Arnott I think that's the one that steals the show but look Kirsty Howitt as well she's a great finisher and, and I thought it was a fantastic finish as well. Yeah and it also shows that obviously with Kirsty coming off the bench and having such a big impact it shows that it really is a squad effort this season. Yeah absolutely the, the squad depth this season is massive there's competition for places all over the pitch and I, and I mean every single position there's there's competition and Kirsty's a great player to have at training she's uh, she, I think she got voted one of the, the moniest players at the club um, but no she just cares and she's so passionate for this club because she's supported it since she was a kid so far I was I'm just absolutely delighted for her to come off the bench and score um, in front of a crowd as well and being on Sky Sports I'm just brilliant for her. And what sort of challenge do you expect from Aberdeen on Sunday? I think it's going to be another tough test. Um, I think they're they're going through a little bit of a transition just now. We obviously their manager have been away, but look, they've got a, a great group of girls there who have given us tough matches before. They like to sit in and, and make it difficult for us. So that's one of these ones where we're going to to try and be quite patient on the ball and try and break lines. But look, we're going there to get ultimately the three points that we need. And you still haven't conceded a goal at Broadwood this season. I mean, it has been a fortress in many aspects. Yeah, absolutely. But as I've said previously before, as the defence starts from the top, uh, you obviously want to give your credit to your back four and your goalkeeper, but it's defensively all over the pitch, I think we've been excellent. Um, but yeah, of course, like your goalkeeper having that many clean sheets, and I think we do well as a back four. There's, we're obviously fighting for places as well to, to get in the team, but look, there's the, the defensive record this season has been fantastic, and, and it's really shown, and it's going to be great going into the season ahead. And how much of a boost would it be to sign off for the winter break with a victory? Yeah, it will be massive. I think we always take one game at a, a time at this club and I think that's what we'll always be doing. So, yeah, the next game's Aberdeen. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be another tough test. But look, we're ultimately just all we, always we want is the three points and, and hopefully we can do that on Sunday.